Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. And we are now in day four of our Ghostbusters Afterlife figure coverage. And today we're taking a look at podcast. <laughs> Ghostbusters flight suit design packaging here with the no ghost logo ages four and up you got podcast name tag there on the side here you have an art deco version of lucky podcast Phoebe and Trevor on the back you have the caution tape with the no ghost logo Sentinel terror dog Trevor podcast lucky Venkman stance and Zedmore podcast sure he calls himself podcast sure he has a podcast but don't box him in he also likes gadgets and battling with mini puffs so now let's go ahead and open him up and take a look at podcast all right so podcast comes with everything you see here you have the ghost whistle you have the ecto goggles you have the remote control for the uh, remote control ghost trap. You have some uh, marshmallow stuff, some more marshmallow stuff, and a mini puff along with the torso of the uh, Sentinel Terror Dog. We'll go ahead and move that off to the side. We'll take a look at that whenever we go over the Sentinel Terror Dog. So for podcast. He does not come with a proton pack like Trevor and Lucky. He's a little young for a proton pack, I think. Uh, it seems like he's going to be more in charge of the uh, remote control ghost trap. Um, but he does come with the ecto goggles, which we'll go ahead and put on him, if I can, without ripping it. The ecto goggles seem to be made out of a very um, soft, soft plastic, uh, not very rubbery plastic. Um, doesn't really stretch that well, so I'm a little afraid putting this over his head out of fear that it might rip it. But once it goes on, it will not come off. I may raise it up, but it won't come back off. So there we have podcast with the ecto goggles uh, we'll go ahead and go over the articulation real quick uh, his head does move side to side all the way around uh, up and down slightly on a ball joint uh, his arms do go out to his sides and rotate all the way around just like the others uh, he does have a ratchet elbow joint if you can see that that well there we go uh, swivel at the wrists oh, and a swivel at the elbow apparently uh, just like with the others swivel at the wrists um, same type of um, almost rubber band attached uh, waist joint it feels like and he's got a separate sash uh, that's wrapped completely around his uniform to make it not so baggy. Um, I'm not sure what'll plug in there. We'll see. Uh, but his legs go out. They go up. And just like with uh, Trevor, no boots. A little young for boots, so he's wearing tennis shoes. He's got his pants untucked. Uh, you got swivel at the thigh you got a double knee joint okay and no articulation at the foot so now let's go ahead uh, I'm not sure it looks like the ghost whistle is probably going to plug in to his sash just like that 
As you can see, there's a peg on the back of the ghost whistle. Let me go ahead and bring this a little bit closer so you can see the ghost whistle. It is like a skull type design. And there's a peg right there. It's going to plug in right there. And he does have a peg hole in his back for a proton pack. So I'm not sure if maybe they're going to sell, have a, uh, a second proton pack with Phoebe when she finally gets released. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, you can't have four Ghostbusters and one of them not have a proton pack. Um, but then again, th it looks like this marshmallow stuff pegs into his back. So who knows? We're going to go ahead and plug that in. Looks like it plugs in just like that. All right. And then this one. I'm not sure. Let me take a look at the package real quick and see how that one goes. It does not show on the package. So I think we're probably going to put it on his wrist. dripping off of them like that. Let's go ahead and put the remote control in his hands. And then the mini puff um, probably like that sorry guys I didn't realize it was out of focus so there we have podcast from the Ghostbusters Afterlife plasma series hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you tune in tomorrow as we go over old man Peter Venkman I've been Shannon this has been coming in TV the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.